Welcome back. Today we're going to be washing our brushes. So I am going to be using the Sote uh, soap and then the cleaner there is uh, a product by e.l.f. So I'm showing you guys how dirty my brushes are. They were overdue for a cleaning. So let's all be real. We all dislike washing our brushes. It is such a hassle. I'm pretty sure we all love doing all our makeup with them. But in order to, the order to clean them is the hardest. Who agrees with me? Comment down below. Like this video if you guys dislike washing your brushes as much as I do. So here I'm showing you all of my brushes that I have to wash. They were all overdue for a cleansing. So here I'm just adding a little bit of water in that little dish so that I wouldn't be uh, wasting too much water. So yeah, so I'm just going to be washing all of the brushes back and forth between the soap and the water and um, using the little elf pad. I did find that one. I believe it was at Target and I think it's only like three or four dollars if I'm correct. Um, and it's kind of a dupe for the Sigma one. It doesn't stick onto the sink though or any surface. It's um, you have to use it kind of like a glove on the back of it. It has a little handle, but I mean, using all of this for under $5 to wash all of my brushes and I still have, um, soap for several washes left. So here I'm showing you guys all the brushes that I had washed, which were all of my eye brushes and a couple of face brushes. That MAC 170 brush is so hard to wash. I ended up leaving it soaking in the water. Of course, I didn't get near um, the, the metal part because I know that it can unstick. And the MAC brushes are super precious and you don't want them to be unsticking. So here I'm showing you how it how it's used like a glove that elf brush so um this is my first time using the sote and 10 out of 10 i completely recommend it for you guys and if you guys are looking for a very affordable um and great brush cleaner i would completely recommend it so you guys should really get your hands on it and wash your brushes see for your for yourselves it's under a dollar to buy it and i know that you can pick it up like at walmart um that's where i got mine or even like norgate so brushes like that one and um the mac 170 they're so hard to get the the center of the foundation out of it and um, this is the first time that I was actually able to get all of that makeup gunk out of it. So like I said, that's why I recommend this. So yeah, just keep on watching and I'm just showing you guys here how I'm going back and forth um, from adding more soap. And as you guys can see there, it's completely washed and I'm super happy. That one's the Morphe one. So here you guys can see I've had it soaking for a very long time and I keep on going back and forth and you guys can tell that there is still a lot of makeup stuck in the center. I was really debating on whether or not to keep on going and yeah, so here you guys can see, oh, there it is. There you guys can see that it's a lot cleaner. Before, when I used to use other makeup clean, uh, cleaners, it wouldn't clean all the way in the center. So here's the aftermath. And here I'm just wiping off all of the excess water from all of the brushes and also um, getting the top of the bristles into place. So I'm showing you guys. I was super tired. It was really late. 
And here is um, two days later after but the brushes had dried already. They're super clean. I had used some of them, but overall, they look amazing. Well, they stayed stained and some of them I've already used. But overall, I really, really like how the sote left my brushes. Super, super clean. I would 100% recommend it. If you guys are looking to clean your brushes, I really would.